ladies and gentlemen, I'm Mizzy69 and welcome back to the channel. There are two new tanks in store, actually two old tanks in store. And that's the IS-2SH and the ISU-130. They have come as a bundle. You can buy the IS-2SH for 6,500 gold just for the tank. Or you could buy it fully equipped with the legendary camo for 7,500 gold. Or you could buy the pair both with fully equipped the IS-2SH that is got the legendary camo, uh, camo and a rare camo for the ISU-130. You can get that for 10,500 gold. I think that's a really good deal. It says 60% off there. I think that's a good deal. Now, both of them... They're not the best tanks. I mean, the IS-2SH is just a typical Russian Tier 8 Heavy. It's, uh, armor-wise, I mean, I'm not bouncing too many. I'm 170 on your turret and 130 on your hull. But where it really shines is that 100 millimeters on the side armor. With it being a rear turret as well, you can side scrape pretty well if you are angled correctly. Uh, DPM, I mean, I'm, we're not going to go into too much details about all the stat-wise. There is videos out there of both tanks on my channel if you do want to check them out. Um, but I really wanted to make the video because, it's a for, personally, I think it's a good deal. I really do think it's a good deal. Now, not many people do like the IS-2SH. It's It used to be my go-to tank. It really did. It's, I preferred it more than the Defender, more than the IS-6. Pretty much more than any other tier 8 heavy. That was until things like the Object 252, the WZ 1112 2, -2 uh, come available. Where now I just think they're both much better than any of these old tanks. Um, as we know, the ISU 130, it has that uh, special round where the, the normal AP does less damage, but it has more pen. And the premium AP has less pen, but it does much more damage. So the DPM on this tank is 3,122, but that is with the standard AP. You start using the premium AP, that pushes the DPM way up. I mean, around 4,000, I think, maybe a little bit less. It's crazy. Um, I have done videos before where about the ISU 130, and I like the tank. I think it's a really good tank, but... I'm always saying, is it worth buying? And most of the time, my answer is no, because you might as well go and get an ISU-152 with that massive gun, that massive BLT-10 uh, with the massive penetration, and it is better than this in pretty much nearly every single way. But when you can get them as part of a deal, two tanks for 10, two tier eight tanks for 10,500 gold, I think that's a pretty good offer. That I think that is a pretty good good offer, and that's when you start thinking, you know what? I might as well get that. It's it's not as good as the ISU one five two, but it's different. It's much different because of that premium ammo and the normal ammo. The reload, I mean, on the ISU is it's about eight point eight seconds, which is really really good. And we're going to show you a Hall of Fame game next. Uh, there was an AFK, luckily, um, but it's it's. It is a good tank. It really is a good tank. Now, I'm driving the ISU, IS-2SH here, um, but IS-2SH, you can see we're trying to angle. I mean, but we over-angled and he did manage to penetrate us. And that's where you've got to be careful. And it does have the really good side uh, armor and it does have that rear turret. So you can side scrape, but you just got to pay attention in not over-angling because you will get penetrated. You've got to sort of bait the shot not come out i mean if you're going to reverse to get that shot off then expect to do, uh, expect to be penned so what you really want to do is just side scrape until you sort of bait them into shooting and then once they shoot that's when you can reverse up and you can get that shot off so this game i mean it's a pretty easy game i'm not gonna lie we, we don't even finish on 3k and we end up in a first class it's not a tank you see often around i mean it's been for sale a few times before. I mean, quite a few times before it has been for sale. But, I mean, not a lot of people buy the tank. And people that does have the tank, they don't play the tank as, as much as they should. I mean, I can't remember. The, the last time I played this tank was probably the last time I made a video. And that mainly is because there's just so many premiums in the game now. And this sort of 
falls short of you know what I'm gonna play I'm gonna play that tank because it's fun it's it's not fun I'm not gonna lie it's not a fun tank to play there's other if you want fun then buy the the tier 7 premiums the, the fast premiums the OP premiums that come into the game uh, but if you just want a cheap deal a cheap tank that earns credits and still can hold its own then yes i would say probably these two tanks is, is a good deal and even if you wanted to buy this tank on its own without the camo if you've got credits if you've got credits then yes you probably no point buying this for the the 6500 you might as well just buy the 5000 one which is a really good price for for a tier 8 tank if uh, if you look at all the other tanks that come for sale so i mean 93000 credits for 2.6k damage and you can see that was a first class i did absolutely nothing um but next up we do have the one and only Lor loro um what a, this is going to be a great game and they're going to play this absolutely perfectly the way a td like this should be played and that's just not getting spotted that is literally camping using that dpm and not getting spotted and using the ammo wisely as well now you've got to remember the premium ammo has less pen so if you're going to be greedy uh, you want to be greedy and you want to get uh, not less dpm sorry uh, less penetration so if you want to be greedy and you want to always go for the damage then and you're going to use that premium round just be aware that you will bounce shots you're not going to pen anything uh, not everything because the penetration isn't the best so use the ammo wisely if you can easily penetrate i mean if you're coming up against tier 8 heavies tier 9 heavies then i wouldn't use the premium round i'll i'll just use the normal ap it still has 3100 dpm with the normal ap i mean 7.4 seconds reload with the adrenaline 8.8 .8 without it's crazy but another thing i would recommend with this tank is don't shoot too many he if you can he tanks like borzix or any sp1c's or anything like that just be careful that sometimes it's not worth it sometimes it's not worth it i mean the he ha has 600 alpha where the premium ap on this has 540 that you can actually high roll over 600 so be aware that shooting he may actually it may be worth more shooting the premium ap than it is the he because you've got chance of low rolling on on your he and you've also got a chance of just splashing the track and only doing sort of two to three hundred damage and maybe even less so i don't carry a lot of he in this tank and as i've said i don't think it's worth shooting too much um so this game we're going to get back to this game so it's a two on five and look at his hit points he her i'm going to call him a he because I, I just don't know um so it's a two on five at this point and he is a one shot 155 hp now if you look to the left on the mini map there is a is3 that has just come around the corner and he's full health well guess what this guy is going to get lucky because he's now just gone afk if you look back at some of my, my recent videos, like, there seems to be a big problem with AFKs at the moment. I don't know if it's the server. I mean, it has been happening to me where Wargaming, where my tank just goes around in the circle for no reason. My ping is absolutely fine. My internet is absolutely fine. And my tank just starts going around in a circle and I can't do nothing. And I have to just reset the game. I don't know if that's the reason, but it seems to be happening an awful lot. I mean, I've done a, a whole replay video where every single game there was an AFK. And because of that AFK, it ended up being a sort of one versus one. And it was the a AFK's fault that they lost. And this is going to be exactly the same. Uh, this guy's going to win because of that AFK. So it ruins games. It does ruin games. It might not be his fault. I mean, I'm not blaming the AFK because he might have just got kicked out of the game i was streaming again i was streaming the other day and it just kicked me out literally it just kicked me out of the game whilst i was on the stream so i think it seems to be a big problem maybe wargaming side at the moment but it needs to be sorted because it's losing people games now it's good for the one and only here because he's going to get a world record damage he's on five thousand damage and no offense like 
he has only won this because of that AFK. But still, he's done a remarkable job. I mean, 5k damage, and he's still got a whole hit point IS3 that he's just about to find. Now, he needed to find him right now because 40 seconds left on the clock, and the enemy are winning on supremacy points. Now, if the enemy, if it got down to zero, and the enemy are on, say, 800 supremacy points, they would still win. Not a lot of people know that, that they don't have to get 1,000 cap points or supremacy points or to kill to win. In supremacy, you just need the more points. So he does clear the IS-3, and I mean, 6,500 damage in a tier 8 tank is still a great job, and 7 kills at that as well. So that is the deal, that is the bundle, a very good bundle at a very good price and i would say if you've not got too many other premiums then that might be worth thinking about purchasing but i hope you enjoyed it guys i'm meaty and i'm catching you soon